So then we have expert systems which are making use of fuzzy logic. Fuzzy logic is beyond yes or no. So it can have multiple states like certainly yes, uh, not sure, or maybe certain or possibly no, possibly yes. So these are different states in fuzzy systems. So the machine learning systems, AI systems can go beyond uh, yes or no and true or false, and they can give such kind of outputs. And then we have computer vision, which is another area in perception and it makes use of multiple AI paradigms. Yeah. And then we have neural networks, which are making use of uh, like structure of human brain, the way we have, the way we think, the deep neural networks, they look into these areas and uh, the GANs can generate the images of those people who are not even existing or maybe in creative drawings that we want to have. Right. So it is like computers are so much creative nowadays. They are generating content. They can generate poems. So a lot of possibilities here. And then we have autonomous systems and these autonomous systems are basically robotic system, intelligent system, self-driving cars. Yeah. So these are already planning and communicating and giving reason perception. So it is spanning across multiple AI problem domains. Then we have distributed artificial intelligence and uh, this is like agent based modeling, swarm intelligence and uh, multi agent systems. So these autonomous agents are basically solving problems by distributing them to multiple agents and interacting with each other, how this distributed artificial intelligence is working. So collective, you must have seen like uh, in Olympics also, there were so many drones, they were coordinating with each other. So that could be one example of uh, distributed artificial intelligence that you can understand very easily. Then we have effective uh, uh, computing and uh, this is ambient computing. So this domain is a subfield that takes care of emotions, recognition, interpretation and simulation. Then we have evolutionary algorithms and uh, these are basically like uh, we have uh, optimal solution it, it looks for optimal solutions like genetic algorithms and it applies search heuristics to choose the fittest candidate solution so these are like evolutionary algorithms apart from that like we have uh, inductive logic programming which is like a subfield formal logic to represent database of facts and formulas yeah, and it formulates hypothesis driving those from data. So it is a subfield where you will see database of facts are being utilized. Yeah. And then we have decision networks, which is again making use of Bayesian networks and inference. And it is making use of probabilistic techniques, probabilistic ways. Yeah. So it generates a acyclic graph internally. So decision networks, Bayesian networks. So in uh, virtual instructor led session, we will talk more about Bayes theory. And then we have a uh, probabilistic uh, programming and uh, this area is dealing with the uh, Bayesian programs. Right. So instead of humans doing it, we want it should be done through probabilistic programming based approach. And then we have uh, ambient computing, ambient intelligence. So this is like physical devices into digital environment.